Hey everybody, Ryan here at eTrailer. Today we're gonna to be checking out the line of Arc LED pod lights. Right off the bat, you're probably wondering how bright are these lights gonna be? And honestly, um, they shine pretty good. They're gonna be 20 watts and 3000 lumens. So this is the fog light type. Um, and in our dark room, it's lighting it up pretty good. Um, obviously, you know, we're pretty close to the garage door here. If it was further away, we could get a better idea. But I see, I see where they're going with it. There's almost a perfect rectangle beam of light. So I can imagine, you know, another 50 yards out in front of us on the road, this would probably cast pretty good light across the whole road and stay low enough if you have them mounted up properly uh, uh, to stay out of people's eyes, uh, you know, other motorists' eyes. And that's if you're gonna be putting them on your vehicle uh, these are going to be street legal, but it is a good idea to, to check and make sure uh, with your state's laws um, and see what they recommend and how uh, you can use the lights. These particular lights are fog lights, so that's uh, how it's going to cast the light out whenever you have the light on. Um, but there's some different types as well, depending on your application and, and what you're trying to use it for. So, for example, there's um, auxiliary high beams. Uh, floodlights and so on so maybe you know if you had a Jeep and a, a roof rack or something on top the high beams might be a better option for you there or if you had a side-by-side -side and you wanted to put these on the back uh, to, to be able to see while you're working uh, you know the floodlight might be a better option so you have a few to pick from and uh, you know they're all gonna get the job done regardless on what you're trying to accomplish the lights that we're looking at today, uh, we actually put them on this F-150 and it's a good example, you know, because of their size, you can kind of make them work with a lot of different applications. Um, they're gonna be three inches by three inches. So relatively compact and they have four diodes and uh, really put a, lot of, put a lot of light out. There's multiple different ways to actually mount these up too. So in our case, we have the uh, bracket on here that you can use. There's also some flush mount ones and um, they really think things through and try to give you some options that way depending on what type of vehicle you're putting them on you can make them look the best or work the best and um, if you're going for a different kind of look as well they even have some that have a yellow lens and it just casts a different type of light so if that's uh, something you're interested in those are also available as well. One of my concerns when running these type of lights, especially on a, on a vehicle that sees road use, is the lenses, you know, because you get behind 18 wheelers and stuff, they throw up some rocks and I'd be concerned with them getting cracked. I'm not exactly sure what this is made from, but it's solid, it's rock solid. I know I've had some cheaper uh, light bars and, and things like this that there's not really a whole lot there. You push on it, you kind of feel it bend in. That's not the case at all with these and just overall, um, I'm pretty impressed with them. You know, you definitely get what you pay for with these. And uh, matter of fact, why don't we go ahead, pull one of these out, take a look, a better look at the back of it and, and kind of some of the things it comes with and go from there. One of the first things I noticed about these lights whenever I took them out of the box is the quality of them. They're really well built, at least they feel like it. Personally, I've used some of the cheaper lights that are this style, but the cheapies, and you can tell a difference, you know, no doubt about it. Not to say that those types are bad, but I do feel like there's an application for a more quality light like this one here, you know, depending on what you're using it for. Honestly, I would think something like this would be great for vehicles uh, that are on the road, you know, off-road vehicles, especially stuff that takes a lot of uh, abuse. These are probably gonna hold up a lot longer just because of the quality of them and how well they're built. And that holds true for you know, like side-by-sides and things like that. If you're really gonna be putting your machine through a lot of abuse, having a higher quality light like this will probably pay off in the long run just because it'll be more reliable and last longer. One of the things uh, I am impressed with as well is the connectors. They feel really high quality, they're locking, and they have a seal around them. So they fit nice and tight and lock into place. So in theory, you know, these should keep water and moisture out and keep the connection nice and clean and, and not allow it to get corroded and things like that. 
The wires are all thick. There's even a layer of sheathing. It's almost like a plastic material, it feels like, which I'm a fan of. It makes routing your wires easier. It looks cleaner. And not to mention, it gives the wires uh, an extra layer of protection. Kit's also gonna come with a switch, which uh, you can mount up a lot of different ways. In our case, just drilled a little hole in our dash here and fit in, um, fit in pretty well. And I mean, nothing really to it. Uh, just your basic, basic switch. I do like how it turns on red whenever the lights are on. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I do know, just from being in side-by-sides and stuff, um, you know, if you're riding at night, makes it a little bit easier to find when you're ready to shut them down and uh, wrap up the night. Other than that though, I mean, pretty straightforward. You know, they're, they're LED lights. Um, and I feel like what really separates these from a lot of the other kits is just how well made they are. You know, like I said, I've had some, some uh, cheaper ones and you get what you pay for. Uh, this kit, when it comes to the actual lights, the wiring, the switch, you know, all that stuff is uh, pretty high quality. And because of that, it just goes together a little bit better. Um, in terms of getting these installed, because how they have the wiring set up for you and whatnot, it makes it pretty easy, pretty easy to figure out. Not really a whole lot to it. it for the most part, plug and play, you can't really mess anything up per se. Um, but depending on your application, you know, it, it just depends on, on what you're trying to do. You can probably expect in most cases, you might need to pick up some ins and outs. You know, maybe you have to use some different hardware, make a little bracket or, or something along those lines, right? So uh, this isn't a custom fit to your exact vehicle kit. You know, it is universal. So that's something you can expect with uh, just about any uh, upgrade like these lights here. But, you know, if you're looking to, uh, uh, you know, add a little style to your machine or, um, you know, obviously get, get some better lighting uh, at nighttime, this is one you can definitely consider. And that'll finish up our look at of the line of ARC LED pod lights.